Hi, I'm Don with Phoenix, and um, today we're going to show you some of the features of Phoenix Touch 6.3. This is kind of a pre-release version. Um, in my hand, I have a computer from a company called Tegatech. This is a tablet computer that's running Windows 7. So uh, we're going to start this uh, computer up here, and I'm going to give you just a broad, uh, high-level overview of Phoenix Touch. So. Uh, generally, Phoenix Touch has two operating modes. It can either operate in a mode where it uh, takes over the shell's responsibilities so the computer will actually boot into Phoenix Touch, or you can, uh, and we call that mode uh, immersive mode, or it can be configured in a mode which we call application mode where the computer is allowed to boot into the normal window shell. So right now this computer is configured in application mode, <clears throat> so when it boots up here, we're going to see a normal Windows experience. So we'll see the computer uh, wake up. We're going to log in. And uh, so there's two user accounts on the computer. I'm going to log into this Linux account, and there's no password on this account, so it's just going to take us straight into Windows 7. Um, at this point, uh, the Windows desktop will come up, and we have a kind of normal Windows experience. Um, as you know, you know, the Windows Touch experience is, is kind of difficult. I mean, some of the icons are too small to touch. So uh, we have our Thinix Touch application, and so we can run Thinix Touch, and we've applied what we call visual customizations to this computer that change it from double click to single click, so we can open up applications uh, with a single touch there. So um, Thinix Touch is configured to open with a pin code, um, and that's configurable, and it doesn't really make sense in this mode, but uh, I'll show you more about that later and why that makes sense. So we're going to enter the pin code here, it's just four zeros, and that's configurable, and we're in our Thinix Touch user interface. So um, in this video, I'm not going to show you much about the user experience in Thinix Touch, I'm just going to talk about the difference between immersive mode and application mode. So we're in application mode, so remember we booted the computer into Windows and we launched Thinix Touch, and then I can uh, hit the uh, shutdown button and we have all these different options. So we can either return to the current session or we can return to Windows or we can sleep the computer, we can log off, restart, or shut down. So I'm going to actually return to Windows <coughs> and so what we do here is we actually respawn the window shell and you have a Windows experience open. So for example, if we had um, Notepad running and then we launch Thenix Touch, um, what you'll see happen is Thenix Touch will load and the applications will uh, be running in your um, Thinix Touch session once our desktop comes up. Okay, so uh, then um, I can return back to Windows, and just so this video doesn't get too long, I'm going to show you really quick how the computer behavior changes when we set the computer into immersive mode. So I'm going to run the Thinix Touch configuration utility, and this requires escalation in Windows 7, and in the configuration utility, I'm going to change the uh, computer. So, uh, first of all, in the touch configuration utility, you have all these different options for um, configuring how the computer behaves, what size is the keyboard, um, which, uh, you know, whether we want to show icons for screen rotation, and what uh, applications are configured on each button in the user interface. All those things are configured in here, but I'm going to constrain this to what happens in application or immersive mode. So I'm going to set the computer into immersive mode and then it says, hey, do you want to put the current user in immersive mode? And I'm going to say yes. So what it's going to do is it's going to save those changes and it's going to restart the computer. So now uh, Windows 7 will reboot <clears throat> and what you'll see when the computer comes up this time is you'll see our user experience change so that this tablet computer is now a touch-friendly device just um, as it wakes up. And so in some applications, it makes sense to have <clears throat> a touch-friendly user interface all the time. So for example, if you're in a doctor's office and you wanted to have a tablet computer that came up with a friendly user interface all the time and you didn't want people to be able to get back to Windows, um, we can configure things easily to do that. Or if you want to have a computer that you know comes up into Windows and you want to be able to use Linux Touch sometimes, you can do that as well. So here we are in immersive mode now. So we'll launch our, our Linux user, <clears throat> and what we'll see now is that Linux Touch will load, and uh, in the background here we're processing the normal Windows startup items. <clears throat> so if you have device drivers and things that need to load, those are processed. So we'll enter our pin code to get in here, 
and I'll hit OK. So now it makes more sense to have that pin code at the front end there. And uh, so, uh, so here we are in uh, in Thinex Touch, and then in this mode, um, we have uh, the same options. Um, we can allow the user to return to the current session, or we can allow the user to sleep the device and or return to Windows. And I'm going to show you one of the nice features of Thinex Touch. So, <clears throat> if we sleep the device in here in our uh, user interface, or whether we use the soft the hardware uh, sleep button. So I just push the sleep button on the computer, and what's going to happen is this computer is actually going to go to sleep. So it's sleeping now. So it went. So we locked the uh, Windows account and we put the computer to sleep. So if we, so for example, a nurse roaming around a hospital, she can set the computer down, hit the sleep button, and the computer would go to sleep. <coughs> so <coughs> when the user picks the device back up, we uh, hit the user to log in. The device is secured with a PIN code, so we have a real easy way to get back into the computer, and then all of our applications would be running uh, still. So um, <clears throat> now I'm going to show returning to Windows. So um, one of the things that I'll point out is if you had a device that was in kind of a kiosk application where you didn't want the user to be able to return to Windows, um, we have a checkbox in the configuration utility that we can prevent this uh, option from showing up so the user would not be allowed to return to Windows. But in, uh, just for the sake of the demonstration, I'm going to actually show you how we booted the computer up into Thinex Touch and we can also return to a normal Windows experience. Um, so uh, that's a quick overview of the difference between uh, application mode and immersive mode for Thinex Touch uh, 6.3. Thank you.